Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Dias. Uh, in this particular video, I will going to start programming concept. Actually, we will move towards programming area. Okay, so the topic name is story of a programming. The story of programming. Each and every fundamental concept related to programming, I will going to discuss in this particular video. Sir, have a look once. My first, as of now, you already know that what we were, we are learning what C language basically. Okay, so C is what it is a programming language. Now we are learning programming language, right? So first, each and every one you should know that we, why we should learn a programming language. Why? What is the requirement? Why we should learn C language? Why we should learn Python language? Why we should learn Java? Or why we should learn programming? My first clear point point is. Uh, why we will learn programming? Observe very carefully. Why we will learn programming? The answer is to develop a software. To develop software, we will going to learn programming basically. If you want to develop software, we'll going to learn programming. Okay. Observe very carefully and write down the notes along with me parallelly. So to develop a software, then immediately you may ask, sir, what is a software? Okay. And what is the requirement of software? Why we should develop the software? You may ask this type of questions. First, let me discuss uh, why, why we should develop the software basically. The clear cut information is what? To reduce the manual work. To reduce uh, manual work. To reduce uh, manual work, uh, we will going to develop software basically. Okay. <clears throat> why we will going to develop software? Why we will develop the software? See, why we will develop software means to reduce the manual work. Sir, can you explain with examples? Definitely. See, previously, if you will observe very carefully, if you want to send money, okay, suppose this is, a, hmm, suppose this person name is Rahul and Rahul wants to send money to Priyanka. Rahul wants to send money to Priyanka. Then how Rahul will send? Rahul will go to bank. Then yeah, Rahul will stay in a queue, right? Then fill the form X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, lot of things. Then, then, then uh, Rahul will send the money to Priyanka. I hope uh, you will understand that all this concept, what's going on previously, maybe five years back or 10 years back. But now it is, the story is very simple. Open phone pay, write the password and all these things, send the amount within one minute, max to max within one minute or fraction of, few seconds, okay, happily Rahul can send the money to Priyanka. So you are reducing the manual work. Yes, we are reducing the manual work. So that's why you have to develop software. So phone pay, phone pay, Google pay, okay, Paytm, these are what? These are the software and this software basically uh, doing what? Uh, this software basically providing the solutions, basically they are reducing our manual work. If you want to develop, don't think it's hard, can you develop a uh, phone pay, Google pay kind of application by using C language or not. Don't worry about all these things. I'm not talking about C language or something like I'm talking about what is software. Why we should develop the software kind of things. Okay. Hope you will understand. Uh, so Rahul want to send happily. Phone pay is the solution. So if you'll observe very carefully nowadays in India, basically there are some popular um, food delivering, food delivering. Okay. Food delivery. Food delivery apps are there just like a Jamato. Suiji, okay, these are there. So basically, previously, um, uh, you have to go to hotel and all these things. Uh, but every day it is not possible. Suppose you have some work or something like happily, I can or, uh, I can order through online, right? So these are something like uh, you can order the foods, okay, basically. Next and after that, the popular war, something like the popular kind of things is something like Amazon.com, right? If you want to shop something, okay, happily you can shop Amazon.com. Then Flipkart is there, right? Flipkart is there. Mintra, Javang is there. Lot of uh, e-commerce websites are there. Happily, you can purchase shirts, t-shirts, electronics, everything you can purchase. Okay. And one more thing. Now you are watching the video through oh, YouTube. Previously, what happened? You have to go to uh, offline coaching center or you have to learn in a college or something like Now you are happily watching uh, through internet. Okay. And through you are watching through an application called as YouTube. Okay, it is a software and it is a reducing the manual work. Previously, you have to go to tuition or you have to go to coaching classes or XYZ maybe, right? I hope you all understand. 
so the clear cut information why you should develop a software means to reduce the manual work and you have to write all these theoretical concept along with me okay i hope you understand okay you have to write all these theoretical concept also this theoretical concept fine sir <clears throat> next uh, observe very carefully why we will develop software means to reduce the manual work then what is a software what is a software the software means a set up a program see so what is software set up a program don't say collection of program or list of program no why it is a set of program slowly slowly you will understand set of a program so software means a set of a programs basically okay so that is called as software then immediately you will ask us a set of means okay but what is program what is program okay what is program program means the set of instructions program means the set of instruction observe very carefully what is a software set of a program program means set of instructions or you can say set of a computer instructions or you can say set of a technical instructions again i'm saying set of set of technical set of technical instructions or you can say set of computer instructions okay or set of instructions or you can say set of a statement i don't have any issues set of a technical instructions set of a computer instruction set of instruction or you can say set of statement basically okay this all are something like called as program then immediately you may ask sir what is instruction what is a computer instruction what is a set of instruction definitely i think you may ask all these things sir. observe very carefully we discussed all these things sir. see instruction means what slowly slowly will you understand this is the fast video theoretical video na okay i a bit complicated for you to understand this theory but uh, in future all these theory will going to convert into practical so you will get more clarity okay so consistency required okay so observe instruction means suppose i will going to write a uh, not c language code not technical code normal code i'll going to write suppose i'll going to write a is equals to 10 comma b is equals to 20 a is equals to 10 comma b is equals to 20 i'll going to write sum is equals to a plus b sum is equals to a plus b print sum print sum observe don't don't think sir why you not written integer or something like if you know little bit see don't worry all these things i'm not writing any programming code i'm just writing the layman pseudo code normal code okay sir what is the meaning of observe what is the meaning of this code sir a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 observe very very carefully what i'm saying a 10 a 10 and b is a 20 b is a 20 and a sum is how much sum is a plus b 10 plus 20 nothing but the 30 so print sum nothing but a display display 30 display sir it will going to display 30 sir these are some technical kind of things these are some technical technical kind of thing see everything is ended with a semicolon this is a semicolon we will discuss everything so this one is a statement this one is a statement and this one is a statement getting now so collection or set of a statement is called as program or not observe set of a statement say these are a statement na? this one is a statement this one is a statement this one is a statement sir the set of a statement uh, is called programs na okay the set of a statement or you can say the set of instructions the set of uh, instructions are called as a program basically so what is instruction see here what i'm showing what i'm what i'm telling to computer be hey computer can you store 10 inside a can you create a memory called as a can you store 10 that's what i'm saying i'm giving to the computer i'm i'm giving i'm i'm giving i'm passing this is a instruction to the computer i'm saying to the computer be hey computer can you store 10 at a hey computer can you store 20 at b hey computer uh, hey computer can you add a and b can you store it in some i'm saying i'm passing this instruction to the computer computer don't know anything i'm passing this instruction to the computer based on our instruction computer will work next in this particular line what we are saying to the computer hey computer can you display can you display some and computer is having some called as how much 30 computer will display 30 so i'm saying the, don't worry about the code and all these things sir 
just observe the theoretical point okay these are something like called as instruction these are some ah, i'm saying can you a greater than b that means what i'm checking a computer can you check whether a is greater than b a is greater than means 10 is greater than 20 if, if it is a true then can you give me true if it is a false tell me false what are, these are the something like called as instruction we are giving set of command to the computer sir hey computer can you do this hey computer can you do that so that's our that's our responsibility role getting now what i'm saying the software means a software means a set up a program so software means a set up a programs and um, program means uh, the set of instructions basically okay now nah? i hope it is clear now nah? okay. you have to write all these things okay have a look once what is instruction instruction means an order that given to a computer we are giving order to computer hey computer can you do this can you do that something like we are saying okay nah? so suppose I'm, i i'll write i'll write one more code so that you will get more clarity i will write uh, i will write uh, age 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 is equals to 23 and here i'm saying if age greater than greater than 18 greater than 18 print 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 i'm not writing the simple code not c language code or something like print age is greater than 18 else print age is less than 18 so what i'm saying ki observe this code observe this code see age is greater than age is equal to 23 means i'm saying can computer computer can you store 23 inside a container that or inside a memory that name is age and here we are saying can you check this conditions that is age age is how much 23 23 is greater than 18 can you check this one 23 is greater than 18 and it is a true or false it is a true and if it is a true then it will go inside and it will going to print age is a 18 it will not going to execute this one it will not going to execute this one observe now but 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 if 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 the age is suppose in the case of age 13 is there then go inside check age greater than it greater than 18 means 13 is greater than 18 but condition false if the condition false it will not go to the inside it will go to the else part why because condition false condition true go inside condition false go to else part and it will going to print age is less than 18 these type of things we're going to uh, discuss and we're going to learn multiple times and we're going to execute uh, n number of programs in future don't worry all don't worry don't think too much about all these things this is the very fast class even though i i have not started c language also don't worry don't think it is a very complicated thing from the beginning no you have to aware about the statement and you have to know what is a statement you have to know what is instructions why, why we should write this thing you know i hope it is clear okay and you have to write all these things you can't skip all these things okay let me raise yeah so i hope it is clear what is instructions okay instruction means it is an order that we are given to the computers hey computer can you do this hey computer can you do that hey computer can you add it hey computer can you remove delete it hey computer can you uh, multiply it hey computer can you search it hey computer can you do the x y x tax y task z tax that's it next how to give a construct how to give instruction to the computer means uh, how to give order to the computer okay how we can give how we can set the order how to give the order to the computer hey computer can you do this can you do that how to give the order by using programming language that's why you are learning c language that's why you are learning c language how to give instruction to the computer means by using programming language that means what i'm saying is sum is equal to sum is equal to a plus b i'm giving instruction by using what by using programming language now you can use any programming language based on your requirement it is not a very big thing getting now okay you have to inject these things in your mind you have to inject these things in your mind okay sir why we will learn programming to develop software why we will develop software to reduce the manual work what is a software set up a program so what is a program set up a technical instruction or set up a computer instruction or set up instruction or a set up a statement 
what is instruction instruction is an order that we are given to the computer how to give the instruction sub using programming language we use in programming language hope it is clear next what is programming what is i am doing programming ha huh? what you are doing here i am doing programming means the process of a software development is called as programming i am doing programming programming means uh, the process of a software development okay sir again revise okay i hope you don't know anything that's why i'm bit very slow right sir why we should learn programming sir why we should learn programming to develop a software to develop software why we should develop software to reduce tell me na to reduce manual work to reduce manual work okay manual work sir next and after that what is software set of set of programs set of programs what is program set of instructions or you can say technical instruction or you can say computer instruction what is instruction it is an order that we are given to the given to computers next how to pass instruction or how to give the instruction means by using programming language we can give the instructions so basically i hope it is clear or not right what is programming the process of software development is called as programming all right sir next we will slowly jump to c language we'll slowly jump to c language that is what is c now the time is come to know what is c till now we didn't cover what is c we are covering the basic terminology related to programming basic terminology related to programming that's what we are discussing all okay now we will going to discuss what is c what is c see <clears throat> uh, if you are a non technical student if you are belonging from arts background or english background or commerce or other background if i'll ask to a normal human being suppose if a person is learning at uh, 9th standard or 10th standard maybe maybe okay normal person sir if i am going to ask what is c definitely um, that person will say me are you are a simple nonsense you don't know c huh? c is what c is a alphabet which is coming uh, before b okay and um, something which is coming after b and before d right or not c is an alphabet c is a alphabet which is coming after b and before d basically it's an alphabet it's an alphabet simple concept it's an alphabet okay everyone will say but as a programmer as a programmer as a computer science student as a programmer or as a computer science student don't say c is an alphabet no c is a programming language you have to say okay so what is c c is a general purpose programming language have a look once what is c c is a general purpose programming language sir we have lots of doubt don't worry i hope ki e, you know e and a what is the meaning of e and what is the meaning of a you know and remaining thing this is my 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 responsibility i will cover everything okay don't worry remaining my my responsibility na i will i will cover everything okay so if you know e and a that's it that is so too much okay for me so c is a general purpose programming language what is the meaning of it sir see first we will going to learn what is the meaning of general purpose then we will going to know what is program programming and all these things i hope what is a general purpose okay what is a general purpose there are two type of things uh, called as a special purpose another one is a general purpose special observe very carefully one is called as special purpose another one is called as a general purpose see special purpose means meant for some special kind of works and general purpose means meant for some general kind of works right so what exactly i am saying ki if you we'll talk about like computer if you we'll talk about like computer there are few computer like a general purpose computer and a special purpose computer okay so if you'll we'll talk about like a, your calculator calculator is a computer or not yes calculator is a computer but calculator is coming under special type or general type it is a special type only for calculation kind of things specific specific limited limited but general purpose computer means your desktop your desktop 
tablet okay your laptop these are general purpose you can perform n number of works basically but by using what special purpose limited work by using special purpose limited work you cannot perform multiple work similarly c is a general purpose programming language means observe very carefully what is the meaning of general purpose by using c language you have write these things along with me by using c language we can develop we can develop observe very carefully by using c language we can develop variety type of application variety type of applications or you can say n number of applications variety type of application means what to observe very carefully again i'm saying here the term general purpose means by using c language you can develop variety type of applications different different type of application variety means what different different type of applications we can develop we we, we will not going to develop only specific application a specific kind of software no we will going to develop a different different applications basically right what exactly i'm saying okay so here can you sir tell me what are the variety type of application that we can develop yes you can develop a lot of applications you can develop operating system you can develop for something like games you can develop device driver you can develop microcontroller basically okay have a look one sir sir by using application area of c application area of c means by using c what you can do by using c what exactly you can develop okay now what exactly i'm saying right see first thing you can develop operating system first you can see you can develop operating system so you know that the computer is running only because of operating system without operating system means no no you can't run a computer without operating system no operating system no computer no operating system no mobile nothing see we are using what uh, um suppose you have a laptop maximum laptop we are using what something like windows operating system we are using windows windows is an operating system without windows no you can't do anything sir we are using ios operating system we are using mac os ios is for mobile okay iphone kind of things so mac os we are learning okay apple apple mac os sir something like a uh, um, android these are something like example of operating system basically without operating system you can't operate you can't uh, uh, even though you without operating system means it will not on right you can't uh, turn on your computer or turn on your system or something like okay so operating system is the heart of computer okay so heart is different brain is different brain is cpu okay anyway don't worry these are the nonsense and theoretical concept we will not going to use anyway okay don't worry at all so we can develop operating system sir our popular operating system windows operating system unix operating system do you know unix operating system windows operating systems these are something like written in c language only the core library of android a lot of theoretical nonsense concept is there they all are written only in c language so what i am saying ki you can develop operating system by using c language that's it you can develop operating system by using c language next sir you can develop databases you can develop databases or what is databases means where we are storing the data it will going to it is a tool where we will going to store the data so or can you discuss database are these are the c language class why you should do go for database concept in future we will going to discuss database okay don't worry for that right so if we'll talk about like mysql is a popular mysql is a popular database developed by using c language so that means i am saying ki by using c language you can develop operating system by using c language you can develop database but don't worry about what is database this is not your duty you have to remember these kind of things you can develop ways don't worry about what is ways don't worry about what is database no they are the very very separate topic okay fine so you can develop network or drivers so you can develop a desktop application you can develop microcontroller you can develop compilers kind of things so our compiler is what it is a translator compiler is what it is a translator okay sir can you discuss what is a translator kind of things uh, maybe you have to wait 3 4 minute or 5 minute i'll going to discuss that one okay
so next and after that you can develop microcontroller yeah, okay i i think you may heard about the adino board okay just have a look on this type of board okay adino board this is a microcontroller adino microcontroller basically sir so what is adino microcontroller what is iot okay something like what is arduino you know okay don't worry about all these things this is not your duty and this is not again iot class or this is not even uh, embedded c class no this is c language class this is the introduction video my duty is i'll going to teach what where will going to use that's it fine sir next you can also develop something like a desktop kind of applications you can develop just like calculators you can develop okay and you can develop something like called as a text editor text editor okay notepad kind of applications you can develop games a lot of things etc that's you can develop i hope it is clear again i'm saying sir we cover all these topic why you should learn programming what is the software what is the requirement of software what is program what is instruction then um, something like uh, how to pass or how to set the instruction what is programming everything we cover next sir any doubt related to general purpose no sir general purpose means uh, by using by using by using c language you can develop variety type of application sir what are the variety type of application operating system databases network drivers or desktop applications compilers microcontrollers games everything you can develop is it clear na fine so next you may ask can you explain sir programming language can you explain programming language duty completed general purpose completed my duty completed okay you have to remember all these things next one what is programming language yes i will going to discuss this one okay object see programming language is what it is a tool it is a tool to develop a software what i'm saying ki sir why we will learn why we will learn a c language to develop software to develop software to develop software we'll going to learn c language and here what is programming language means sir it is a tool to develop software means sir why we will develop software to reduce the manual work how to develop software using programming language observe very carefully what i'm saying why we will why we will develop software why we will develop software means to reduce manual work to reduce manual work basically and how to develop software how to develop a software means by using programming language by using programming language by using programming language we will going to develop software is it clear or not okay programming language will, by using programming language we can develop software so it is a tool tool to develop a software next sir through which through which means through programming language we can communicate with the computer sir this is a premium word sir programming language means it is a tool to develop software second point is what through programming language we will communicate with the computer are if you want to communicate with the computer you require programming language yes we require yes we require okay we will discuss it wait one or two minute not more than that is it clear na so come back come back come back come back sir what is c c is a general purpose programming language i already cover general purpose next we will going to cover programming language programming language yeah see first let me discuss language next we will going to discuss programming language sir what is a language okay what is a language don't worry in next video onwards all the practical we will going to discuss this is the theoretical video okay so don't worry for it what is a language see language is what uh, if you will observe very carefully now, what is the requirement of language tell me what is the requirement of language the requirement of language is what now i am communicating with, with think now i am communicating with you people suppose this is rahul and this is priyanka okay rahul is communicating with priyanka if if one rahul wants to communicate with priyanka what is the requirement sir language is required language is required rahul knows uh, something like called as english language and priyanka also knows english language they both can communicate uh, they both can communicate by using which language 
they both can communicate by using english language and that english language is called as what it is a human language it is a human language okay now is it clear so language is a media through which people can communicate language is a language is a medium language is a medium through which through which through which through which through which human can communicate he will talk about human language i'm not talking about programming language this is something like a human language human language means it is a media through which okay human can communicate with each other human can communicate with a human language is a medium through which a human can communicate communicate with a human you have to write along with me na so if a human being wants to communicate with another human being or if one human being communicate with another human being or something like we required that language that language is called as what a human language whether it may be japan japanese whether it is maybe hindi english telugu tamil i don't know spain uh, some kind of language is there i hope okay anyway so required sir what is the requirement of a human language if a human being wants to communicate with a human being then we require human language sir what is the requirement of a programming language what is the requirement of a programming language see what is programming language we already completed it is a tool to develop software and what is the requirement of programming language what is the requirement what is the requirement of a programming language means uh, to communicate if you want to communicate uh, to communicate with uh, any electronics device or you can say computer if you want to communicate with a computer we required a language called as programming language not human language no it is a programming language so if a human being uh, okay previously rahul wants to communicate with priyanka so normal language is sufficient but uh, now rahul wants to communicate with a computer now rahul wants to communicate with a computer so computer don't know about uh, uh, english or something like no zero and one all these things discuss we will don't worry if rahul wants to communicate with any electronics device or computer so you have to do programming language. without programming language no communications to electronics device okay sir my friend is uh, doing lot of work in laptop my friend don't know programming are behind the screen programming is there don't worry sir some uh, um, auto driver is there and uh, auto driver is having a laptop and auto driver is doing some uh, microsoft office kind of work uh, he don't know programming how they are communicate with computer are behind the screen programming is there don't worry for that theoretical concept everything is programming in computers okay now sir what is programming language it is a tool to develop software and uh, what is the requirement of programming language means uh, if a human being wants to communicate with the computer we require computer language or you can say we require programming language we require programming language i hope it is clear can i erase all these things sir Right, take a screenshot or something like. Let me erase all these things. Now, sir, if a human being wants to communicate with a computer, we already from our childhood onwards we know that uh, computer can understand only zeros and one. Computer can understand. Observe, computer only understand the zeros and one. Computer only understand the zeros and one, and that zeros and one is called as what uh, binary language, or you can say. low level language or you can say machine code machine code so that means computer can only understand what uh, computer can only understand uh, something like zeros and ones but but human no suppose myself okay suppose surendra suppose if you'll talk about like surendra surendra knows what suppose surendra knows english so computer knows what uh, machine code binary language zeros and ones 
okay surendra knows what english language okay so can surendra surendra can communicate with the uh, computer or not no it is not possible so communication is possible sir surendra can communicate with the computer no not possible not possible so direct communication not possible direct communication not possible so if sir direct communication is not possible why direct communication is not possible sir why because why because surendra no english sir surendra no english sir but computer no zeros and one so that's why direct communication is not possible okay so sir is there any indirect communication is possible yes indirect communication is possible to understand indirect communication sir i will going to discuss one example so so better to uh, observe this examples okay so what i'm saying ki suppose there is a person there is a person or uh, there is a student called as rahul or there is a person called as rahul another person is called as zini rahul knows english it is a common examples okay you will find in all the books or something like okay and zini knows uh, there is a language called as hindi language it's an india local language okay so if you observe very carefully rahul knows english uh, hindi knows uh, zini knows hindi observe the same situation surendra knows uh, english uh, but a computer knows uh, binary language so can you tell me rahul can communicate with zini no not possible so direct communications are not possible direct communications are not possible why because rahul no english jini no hindi so communication is not possible so is there any solutions yes so observe there is a third third mediator is there that mediator name is surendra that mediator name is surendra and surendra knows what na english plus hindi surendra knows what english plus hindi sir now tell me rahul ji and jini can communicate indirectly or not yes sir how sir rahul will tell something to me now, okay in 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 english in english in english then i will translate this english to hindi then i will i will translate this english instruction to hindi and i will tell in a hindi to jini then jini will give some reply jini will give some reply in hindi then i will translate that hindi to english sir. then i will going to reply to something like rahul okay okay is it clear or not is it clear or not sir rahul 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 okay rahul will say rahul will rahul will give some instruction to me in english then i will translate to hindi then i will give instruction to jini jini will give me some reply in hindi and uh, uh, definitely surendra will uh, send that a reply in a uh, english to something like rahul so possible or not possible i hope you understand these are the nursery level lkg level ukg or standard one level concept i hope is it clear similarly here direct communication is not possible so we required surendra kind of things means we required translator so this is a translator this is a translator this is a translator we required this translator kind of things so here we required what a translator translator that a translator will convert our english language to machine language is it clear or not so that's why we required a translator okay so that translator duty is what uh, see we will going to write the code uh, we will going to write the code a is equal to 10 comma b is equal to 20 sum is equal to a plus b these are we will going to write our code in a english language it's a programming language it's a c language but we will going to write in a english language na? a is equal to b is equal to sum is equal to these are the english na? so computer understand zeros and one which is not possible basically yes or no what exactly i'm saying so that's why we will going to write the code in english language then translator duty is what a translator will convert to zeros and ones a translator will convert to machine code then happily happily computer can understand or not happily computer can understand or not right or not happily computer can understand or not yes happily computer can understand so you have to write the code in 
programming language means by using by using english but you have to know programming so that's why if you want to communicate with a computer you require programming language and direct communication is not possible why because you will write the code in english so translator is required that translator is technically called as a compiler in c language okay what is compiler what is interpreter and all these things we will going to discuss in a future don't worry for that clear or not sir compiler duty is what compiler is a translator which is basically used to convert suppose a uh, machine code something like a english code to english code to something like a machine code okay so technically this english code or something like called as high level language what high level language high level language and these are the technically called as what uh, zeros and ones is called as what uh, low level language okay i think it's a bad handwriting kind of things i hope you will manage it that's your duty and that is a story basically for this video maybe if uh, a lot of theoretical concept i cover but these are the important to learn programming without this no uses okay have a quick revision uh, kind of things sir so something like uh, why we learn programming to develop softwares okay sir why we will going to develop software to reduce the manual work what is a software set of programs what is program set of instructions what is instruction instruction means it's an order to the computers hey computer do this do that uh, how to give instruction to the computer means by using programming language what is programming means the process of software development is called as programming i'm doing programming means i'm developing the softwares next what is c c is a general purpose programming language general purpose means what by using c language you can develop variety type of applications so variety type of application operating system you can develop databases you can develop right you can develop device driver network driver games you can develop right or not compilers you can develop microcontroller you can develop desktop application all these things so next and after that what is programming language it is a tool which is basically used to develop the software or programming language is what is the requirement of programming language it is basically used to communicate with the computer or any other electronics device okay sir next and after that i cover if uh, program uh, through programming language can we communicate directly no we require a translator okay so programming language all these things we will going to write uh, the code technically it is called as high level language if surendra wants to communicate with a uh, machine not possible so surendra will write the code in programming and that code will convert by translator to machine code all these things uh, is a one time watch movie okay even though these are the things uh, which you just uh, you can inject in your mind that's it no need to uh, think or we have to remember all these things are babu not required not required these are the things not required only lesson just for the information sake so it is just like what key suppose if you will purchase any mobile or if you will purchase any laptop you are getting one manual kind of things okay you are getting manual kind of tell me what is the use of that manual nothing simple okay simple no one is using <laughs> everyone is uh, using that mobile phone or laptop a uh, manual okay you have to store in some side or you have to throw to dustbin or you have to store in that uh, a packet or something like similarly kind of things this kind of things okay and you may think at the end sir you are saying yes if i'll if i'll say if i'll told that same thing at the beginning no one will watch na? that's why i'm saying this thing anyway so we will continue this series and we will going to discuss the programmings and all these things in future thank you so much for watching this particular video we will meet in the next video for continuation part thank you